view, Z300 S Barquetta. Basically, you start off with a Z3, then you tweak it, the bodywork all involved, you can put on the new stuff. This is I designed myself, it's not a replica of anything. It's designed to look like something from the 50s and 60s. So a bit of Ferrari, a bit of Maserati, a bit of Jag, you choose. Um, I've had it for eight years now um, and finally come up to sell it because I've got a new idea for my next project involving Citroëns and Porsches. But um, just a really usable day-to-day -day car. Love it. So this is a, a Jensen 541, it's one of the earliest ones still on the road, this is chassis number 24, I think 549 that were made. Um, we, we bought the car about 8 or 9 years ago and it was a farm find, it was a complete and utter wreck and over the course of 7.5 years we restored it all, had the chassis done, uh, fitted seat belts, the engine had to be uh, completely rebuilt because it was seized. Um, but we're glad we got it back on the road and it's now driving beautifully. There are lots of quirky things about a 541, uh, such as uh, the vacuum, for instance. There's a vacuum tube under here, so part of the chassis, which is the vacuum for the brakes. And some people have tried to have seat belts fitted and the, uh, the fitter will then drill into the chassis to fit the sheet, seat belts and drill into the vacuum tube and then you've got very little braking after that. So. Uh, you have to kind of know your car when you're having some of these things done. Um, but this, this particular car was uh, owned by a gentleman called David Shale, who was a gentleman racer of the uh, 1950s, he used to drive, uh, race Austin Healy's, and it was his own personal car. And we found out that he actually raced it at Silverstone on a couple of occasions. And uh, we met his family uh, a couple of weekends ago, and we were told that um, he raced this car and won a race in it with a, a, a crate of beer in the boot.
please ask you to put your hands together and welcome our top three cars, our owners and drivers. Come on down and join me. I know this one's yours, or one of them is. Come on, that one, that one's yours. Where, where are our others? That one yours, is it? And this one's yours. I didn't have to put your hands together for me once more. Right then, we'll start very quickly with you. Tell us what we brought in. Uh, it's a 1973 Austin Mini. 1973 Austin Mini. Now, who came to British Classics last year? Quick show of hands. One, two, three, a few of you. Okay. As you may remember, we had a Mini in the top three last year, so we've got another one this year. I'm going to come back to you in just a second. Next up, another one that was in our top three last year, our V12 Lagonda. If I remember right, didn't you have to steal petrol to get it here last year? We did, yeah. We had to empty three cars to get this here. Have you had to do that again this year? No, no, it's doing all right this year. It's doing all right this year because this is what size engine has this got? Uh, about six litres. Six litre V12. Everyone's been swarming around this all day. So you're in the top three again. Maybe, maybe it could be a winner. And this is, honestly, ladies and gents, this is the first time I've ever seen one of these. This is the Jensen 541. That's, that's correct, yes. 90, is this uh, 55, 56? 55. 55, and it's, this is a full, um, it's a glass fibre body, isn't it? Yes, it's uh, all fi glass fibre apart from a little bit of steel in the doors. That's about it. And it looks, I know it looks immaculate, and it looks like it's been sat in a museum for most of its life. It actually spent quite a long time in a barn, and it didn't look anything like this, did it? No, it would sat in a farmer's field since 1977 with a tarp all in over it. Um, we, we picked it up, we actually had to go to Italy to get it, because the guy that found it sold it to a guy in Italy. And he, um, he decided he wasn't going to restore it, so we went and got it and brought it all the way back from Italy and then spent seven years restoring it. Wow. So, ladies and gentlemen, can I please ask you to put your hands together for our three finalists. <laughs> now, the way this works is we don't have a third, second and first. We have an overall winner, but we have two runners-up, OK? And I have the pleasure of telling you that the first of our runners-up this year here at Simply... British Classics is the Mini. Well done to you, sir. You're still going home with the prize from Autoglib. How much work have you put into this? A fair bit. I mean, the whole back end is brand new and a bit of bodywork. Well, it looks glorious. What year is this again, sorry? 73. 73. 73. So she's coming up to next year will be her 50th birthday, won't it? Yeah. I'll tell you what, if I look that good when I'm 50, I'll be pleased. <laughs> Ladies and gents, please put your hands together for our first of our runners-up. And Charlotte here will present you with your award and your prize. Well done to you, sir. Now then, can I ask you to come and join me just over here? Can I ask you to join me over here? This is a big moment because we've got a car that I've never seen before. We've got a car that I know from last year. So the question is, have you won this year or have you won this year? So we're gonna, well, let's see what you think, ladies and gents. If you think the Jensen's won, can you cheer for me now? Yay! All right. And if you think the little Gondas won, cheer for me now. Yay! It's fairly even. It is fairly even. The next runner-up here at Simply British Classics 2022 is... The Lagonda. <laughs> Two years on the trot, maybe third time looking around, but runner-up, not at all. And I've been told that the vote in this year was unbelievably close. Unbelievably. Well done to you, sir. Congratulations. You. you must be pleased. And Charlotte will now present you with a trophy from Autoglue. Well done to you, sir. Ladies and gents, put your hands together for our next runner-up. Which means, unbelievably, unbelievably, you have won. Ladies and gents, put your hands together for me for the People's Choice Award winner. I have to say, looks absolutely glorious. Were you expecting that? Uh, absolutely not. I didn't even know there was something like that on here today. I just wanted to come down to have a nice day out and I've had an even better day out now. I've got to say, you've had a brilliant day out. Now, Charlotte will bring you over your prize and trophy in just a second. You've won a full care kit from Autoglim, so you'll be able to get it looking even better than what it already does, if that's possible. Um, but you've also got the coveted People's Choice Award trophy. Now, Charlotte's busy, so wait there. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right, I'll do it, don't worry. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the People's Choice Award Travel. There you are. You're very welcome. You've got uh, spoked wheels there. Are they a nightmare? They are, they are a complete nightmare, yeah. <laughs> so I always delegate that little job to my wife. 
very well. She's got some good products there. And then I've got one last thing. So ladies and gents, put your hands together. Your People's Choice Award winner. You also get your certificate. Well done to you, sir. Congratulations. Ladies and gents, please ask you to extend your applause for our top three hearts. So ladies and gents, thank you so much for joining me and making my job an absolute pleasure. It's wonderful to see you all. Hopefully I'll see you again in 2023. Thank you.